Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the Dark Trilogy. Dun dun dun. I don't know why I feel like I gotta do that every time. Um, so, in the last episode, I asked which storage system would be good to, uh, uh, to build as far as my major storage system here in the world. And I got one comment that said that they would like to see me do Project Red. Um, now, I am all for doing Project Red, that's fine, but I would like to get a little bit more sampling of my viewers, if that is, a vi if that is possible. I've got to turn this render distance down because it's really bad. Um, <clears throat> let's see here, video, render, let's go, let's go to three, I guess. Um, oh, really, really got to get a new computer, really must, has to happen. Uh huh. And goop and goop up there like that. There we go. Should be okay for a little bit now. Um. So, what I've been doing in the meantime while I've been waiting on uh, waiting on some recommendations. Oh, there's a witch! Darn it! Run, run, run! Not ready to fight a witch right now. Um. So uh, yeah. Wow. Lag much? Um, so I've been wandering around and I've been looking for a lot of the different stuff. I've been finding a lot of the, the mystical flowers that I can use for the mystical petals. Um, those I need for, um, for Project Red. And I also built one of these things. This meteorite compass. Um, that's part of Applied Energistics 2. And what it does is it allows you to find sky blocks. And sky blocks are the necessary item that you need to get all of the things that you need to make um, all of the different components for an ME system. Um, so when I was, had this thing in my hand, you see right now how it's kind of wigging out, going around and around and around and around and around and around, and around in circles? Um, that means that you are in the chunk where a meteorite is located. So right over there where it said where the waypoint says meteorite that's where I first noticed the thing going wiggy on me and so I started just kind of digging around um, and I did it the first time right here um, so underneath these two cobblestone blocks there's a shaft that goes all the way to bedrock did not find any sky blocks there I thought you know I can mine this all day long with a regular uh, pickaxe but that's not very effective. I've got a hammer. So I came over this way a little ways. And it was getting night. So I tunneled my way down in here. And I blocked myself in, which I'm going to do right now. Uh, we're going to go right, like, boom, boom, blocked in. And I just, I, th I, thought, I thought to myself, well, click, 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 you know, digging around, digging around, digging around. And uh, <clears throat> I said, you know what? This is stupid. I got a hammer. I can mine out three by three. So let's do that. So I did. And so we got some, whoops, uh -huh. we got, oh boy. And this goes down quite a ways too, but I kind of got lucky on this one. I dug down and dug down and dug down and right here someplace, where'd they go? Right here, there it is. I found sky blocks or sky stone. So what I'm gonna do now and I'm going to do this off camera because I don't want to bore you guys to death. Um, but I'm going to start to dig out around this sky stone. Um, <clears throat> I'm not going to dig into it yet. I'm going to I'm going to expose the whole thing. I did dig out two pieces. I think I've got them still uh, in my backpack. Yep, I got two pieces of sky stone right there. So there was one there and there was one there. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and dig all the way around it, and we're going to see how big this thing is. Uh, once we got it exposed, then we'll start digging into the inside and see if we can find the sky chest. <laughs> Apparently it's right in the center, so if we dig out into if we dig into it and we dig into the center, we should find it pretty easy. So I'm gonna go ahead and dig this out. I'll be right back with you. <clears throat> okay, yeah, this thing is pretty freaking big. Holy cow. I've been digging forever on this thing. My inventory is full. I've got it exposed all the way around. Um, 
this ha I tell you what, this hammer works freaking wonders. Um, but yeah, I've got it pretty much exposed all the way around. Um, I need a little do a, do a little bit more back here, but this thing is enormous. This thing is absolutely enormous. Um, but this gets me to the center of it. I could dig straight down into the thing. Um, so why don't we go ahead and uh, why don't we go ahead and do that? Let's see. Let's use the hammer and see what the hammer does. Ah, can't harvest it with the hammer. Well, isn't that revolting? Isn't that revolting? But there should be a chest right in the center of this thing. Wow. Um, okay, wait a minute. Okay, look this way. Ooh. Getting some lag here, baby. Getting some lag. Skystone chest right there, baby. Oh, yeah. What do we got in here? We have a piece of Skystone. And an inscriber calculation press. That we need. The other stuff we don't. And I'm surprised that there's only one thing here. Um... Because you can't craft these things, you cannot, you can't craft any of these presses. Um, you have to find them in the sky chests, which means that we have to go and find more sky chests. Which we are not going to do that today. Um, we're going to get ourselves out of here. Try to get ourselves out of here anyway. Staircase our way out, I guess. Hmm. So we're going to have to go on the hunt for another sky chest. Which is kind of discouraging, but that's okay. Um, what we might do is we might... We might actually do both storage systems. I haven't decided yet, but, uh, but yeah, that's... Uh, mm-hmm, yeah. Wow. Whew. Okay. So what do we got here? We got all kinds of stuff. We got, we do have the one press that we need, which is awesome. Um, there's like, uh, let's see, how many are there? Come on. P-R-E-S-S. -S. See if, the, see if any eye will cooperate and, t and show us all the presses. Uh, Next. Yeah, okay, so we got the calculation press already. We need the engineering press. We need the logic press. What's this? A name press. Oh, wow. And a silicon press. So it, we need three more for sure. Um, yeah, we need three more for sure. So, all right. Well, let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and pause and tidy up down here a little bit. Um, see if there's anything I need to keep. And if so, I'll go ahead and grab that. And when we come back, we'll be back at the village. So we'll see you in a minute. Okay, so you remember how I said when we come back, we'll be back at the village? I got to looking at the, ch at the uh, chunk data and or got to measuring out where this, um, this uh, uh, meteorite compass was wigging out. And it showed to be more than one chunk. So... And there's only one sky block or one only one meteorite per chunk. So I knew that we had to have more than one meteorite. So I started digging down and what is that right there? Yes, that's a sky block. So we're going to uh, we're gonna try and see if we can find the center of this one. Oh boy. We're gonna try and find the middle of this one. Uh-huh. And, yep. So, and since we're lagging out real bad, plus the episode is getting a little long, I'm going to do this off camera. We'll be right back. Okay. Found the chest. Let's open it. What do we got here? We got the silicone press. Okay. Well, that's better than nothing. Plus, we got some copper nuggets 
and some tin nuggets. Not that I need those, but um, uh, let's see here. What can we get rid of? Oh, we'll, get, we'll get rid of the amber. Amber is not very helpful to us. Um, so we'll take that. That gets us two. Two. Only two. Only two. Uh, two of the presses that we need. So we're going to have to go on a I have to go on a little journey and find more of these presses. Um, I'm surprised we didn't get lucky and find multiples in a given chest. Um, yeah. Can I harvest this? It says harvestable. Uh, we'll leave it. We will leave it. So in this one, we just kind of dug right in. <laughs> oh well. Okay, so... Now i got to get myself out of this hole, and uh, so I'll be back in just a minute. We'll be back from the village. All right, here we are, back at the village. Um, here we are, back at the ranch. Um, meanwhile, back at the ranch, old 50s cowboy shows. Um, hashtag old 50s cowboy shows. Um, so what have we been doing lately? Not a whole lot. Um, we did knock out a side of this. Uh, just because I wanted quicker access between the smeltery and this. Um, I did build a sawmill. I'll tell you what, this sawmill is pretty freaking bad. Um, pretty awesome. Hello, get in there. Um, if you need wood planks in a hurry, oh, let me tell you, my friend, holy cow, uh, come over here for a second. I think I put them in here. Did I put them in here? Redwood planks. No. No. Where'd I put the redwood planks? I didn't use them all, did I? Where'd I put them? Put them in here? I took a stack of 64 redwood logs and ran them through there and ended up with so many, so many um, redwood planks. It wasn't even funny. Um, because with the, with the sawmill, let's just take a few of these. Uh, sure. Let's just take a few of these and we'll... Oh, I know what I did with it. I turned it into charcoal. <laughs> uh, because I needed charcoal for the um, blast furnace. That's what I did. So, here we go. We've got some redwood. we got 11 pieces of redwood. Uh, well, let's just do one. You get sawdust, and you get six planks. Where'd it go? Oh, there's all the redwood right there. Look at all that redwood. Look at all that redwood. Uh, that, that's a ton of redwood. Um, <coughs> excuse me. But what we're going to do now is we're going to build one more component to go with our thermal expansion stuff, and that is the, uh, the cyclic assembly. Of course it's going to rain. Of course. Silly rain. You silly, silly rain. Um, yeah, we're going to build a cyclic assembler. Uh, I've never used this thing before, so we're going to see what it does. Probably won't be able to finish it up, or probably won't be able to use it very much this episode, but it's pretty simple. We need some copper gears. We need some tin gears. I already have a machine frame. We need a redstone reception coil, which is easy to make. Uh, don't have any redstone on me, so I'm going to have to get some. Let's put some of this stuff over here that we're not using. Um, let's see. I need copper and tin from... Ugh. You know what? Hang tight, guys. I'm going to wait I'm gonna wait for this rain to go away because this is making it almost impossible to play. Hang on just a minute. Alright, everybody. The rain, rain, rain is gone, gone, gone. And... Whoops. And uh, it's time to build the cyclic assembler. To build the cyclic assembler, we need to have some copper gears. Uh, I need more of that. I need more copper and more tin. Shoot. I have it. I just have to make it. Uh, one, two, three, four. Wow. Lag is setting back in awful quick here. One, two, three, four. Uh-huh. And plop, plop, like so. Oh, for crying out loud, really? Get 
all of this tin and all of the copper. I forgot I needed double because I need two gears, two of each set of gears. There we go. Now we will come back over here. And come on now. Come on now. There we go. Put this over here. Pop that like that. And put this over here. And bloop like that. Put that away. And put those away like so. And let's see. One, two. One, two. One, two. And copper gears. Boom. And where's my tin? There's my tin right there. Tin gears. Okay. Now, need to have a chest. I don't have a chest. Do I have wood to make a chest? I don't know if I have wood to make a chest. Um, might have some in my backpack. No. I have no wood. Why do I have no wood? Huh. Well, okay. Uh, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Oops. Yeah. Let's do this. Since we're right here, let's turn the render distance all the way down. Um, yep, turn it all the way down. That might help a little bit since we're right here. It might, it might not. Hard to say. Ooh, that's rough. Yeah, that's a little better. Maybe. Oh, gosh. Really need a new computer. Really need a new computer. I know you guys are getting tired of hearing me say that. One day, one day. <clears throat> All right, now, make it a chest. And put it a chest up here. And then we need one of these, put it right there. Oh wait, we need to build, uh, dang it, one more thing. Need the reception coil. I knew I forgot something. Oh, stupid lag, I hate it. I really hate it. Okay, this is kind of my de facto redstone chest right here. So we need two pieces of redstone. Now, oh my gosh. Now, let's see here. Put that there like that. Get a piece of gold like so. Redstone reception coil. Need a machine frame. And a chest. And then we need our two tin gears. I think those go there. And the copper gears go here. And there it is. Cyclic assembler. Love it. Okay. Now, let's sleep this night away. Sleep it a night away. Get a fresh start in the morning. And go over here and put it in place. There's one skeleton out there. Yeah, he's no he's no bother to us right now. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and put that right up here above the sawmill. And we'll see what it does. It's getting power. Good. We'll open it up. So we need... Okay, so what we need to do is we need to figure out how this thing works. <laughs> um... How does this work? How you make? How you do? Let's see. Tutorial. Information. Craft recipes in saves, saved in schematics. Use 20 redstone flux per tick. No, it won't craft that. Okay. I don't know what that means. Um, augment tab. Redstone control. Configuration terms, okay. And requires redstone flux to operate. Okay, schematics. Aha! Aha! I see. So, we need to make a couple of schematics. That, from what I remember, that's pretty easy. S-C-H-E-M, schematic. 
is two pieces of paper and some blue dye, which I think I might have. I think I might have. I know I have paper. I don't know if I have blue dye or not. Let's see. Uh, nope. Not in there. Do I have lapis over here? Um, yes, I do have a lapis block, so I can make some blue dye. Actually, it said I could just use lapis. Now, where's my paper at? I have some paper. Oh, I can make paper. I can make paper. I got. I got lots of. Sure. Uh, yep. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's just do two of those, I guess. Okay. Man, I don't know what's going on with my computer here lately, but the lag has been getting bad. I've got, um, I got a temperature monitor. My, my, uh, my CPU was getting really hot, and so, oh, envelope. What? That's a thing, huh? An envelope is a thing. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so we got three schematics. Let's go over here and see what we can see about this crafting, this cyclic assembler thing. Come on, get in there. Let me in. There we go. Okay, so now we put schematics like that. No. Uh, okay. Schematics go. Um, I'm not sure here. Well, let's see here. Let's see what we can, let's see if we can put something in here that would, uh, that would be something that we would use fairly regularly. How about... How about just one, two, three, uh, okay, and, whoops, and, so how do we, oh, wait, if I put that there, okay, I think we're getting something here somewhere, I think we're doing it, I think we're doing it, check, aha, so now we have a cobblestone slab schematic. Yeah, I know. Um, I know. It's not, you know, I know. I don't know. Okay, so we're going to figure out how to use this thing. When we come back next time, we will uh, we'll be crafting up some, we'll be putting some schematics together so that we can actually make some stuff with this thing. Um, it has a, what the, hmm, hmm. Might need to do something over here. We'll have to check and see. Uh, I'm going to watch a couple of tutorials on this thing, read the wiki and all that good stuff. And uh, so, yeah, hope you've enjoyed this episode. I sure did enjoy bringing it to you. If you did, please make sure you leave a like. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Um, and, uh, and don't forget, keep bringing in that feedback as far as what kind of storage system you want to uh, you want me to develop. Right now, Project Red is winning. Um, I do have I do have uh, uh, at least a vote for Project Red. Although my son, Beholden's 428, he has recommended that we do the ME drive. So in essence, it really is a tie. But if I'm just going by just pure viewers, Project Red is winning. So um, again, hope to uh, I want to I want to do at least one of those, and you guys are going to be the ones to determine which one I do. So. Um, yeah, love it. You guys are great. And I can't wait to bring you the next episode. So until next time, we will see you later. Take care. Bye-bye.